Welcome to Exploring the Ozarks, where we explore the history, places, and people that make up the area. Here's Matt. I just kind of did that without the paper. So that was good. I think I got most I of it. I think you did. I think I did. It's hard because it's like we have done this 30 plus times. Well, we haven't been in this room for, what, two, three months? And it's I was wondering if you were like going to make that. it through that. Yeah, right. yeah, I was worried for a second. You did good. You I, was like, good. I was looking around for it, and I was like, I can't find it. Where did it go? I saw the nervousness in your eyes, but then... It um, wasn't there. No, it wasn't. No, but it the wasn't. confidence was, and that's Thank good. Thank you. The confidence was there. That's what I was waiting for. Do you feel like you have more confidence now that you have cut your hair, or how did that go? Because last time everybody saw you, your hair was like two feet long. I felt more confident when i had like my hair was my head was bald like oh, really? it was shaved all the way down i was like really? i feel like a really like a real man strong guy and then and then my hair started going back in and there was gray and i was like, oh, oh. bad realization well was the gray there before you it cut was it? there before yeah. okay all right yeah, but it, you know when you shave your head down you don't see the hair anymore so true it's like hey I don't have any gray hair anymore. I'm right. younger all of a sudden. Temporarily. I well, I couldn't tell. So. Yeah. That's well, good. no, I, I enjoy the shorter hair. I've been debating if I want to grow it out longer again. If I do, it may be like four or five inches. Not the. I had to grow it to 14 inches to donate. Oh, wow. That was a lot. It was a lot. Well, glad you did that. You donated to Locks of Love. Is that uh, the organization or something I'm similar? I remember. Sure. It was something similar, yeah. yeah. It wasn't Locks of Love's, but it was another one that... It was highly recommended by several people that have good. done it before. So well, glad you did it. It went yeah. to a good cause at least. So yeah. if you're gonna do that, then do it, right? But, and you saved that. a lot of money on haircuts, so that's good too. That I guess, yeah. And now you just get. I kind of miss seeing my barber though. Oh, like, I'm sure I, he misses you too. I think that's one reason I grew up my beard is like so I can go in and get beard trims. But he's like the coolest guy <laughs> ever, man. He really and is. <laughs> your trivia question the other day on the on the show about uh, the marshmallow Pepsi. Marshmallow Pepsi. Oh uh, man, I wanted to say something so bad, but that's a little teaser for people to get to go see because it's where his hometown yeah. was. Your yeah. barber was super cool. We just wanted to have his barber on here because he talks a lot. Matt apparently. didn't believe me, and I was, I was like, like, "Man, he's a cool guy. <laughs> what are we he, doing does, here? he does a lot of cool stuff." And Matt was like, "What?" And then he was like, "He loved it." As soon there. as we got in here, I was like, "This is going to be good." <laughs> uh, so it was a fun time. But anyways, you are watching Exploring the Ozarks, and if you can't tell, we haven't been here in a couple months, so we're getting back in the swing of things. And today, kind of, uh, we have it's we're, just we're like still, riding a bike. We're, we're doing like a top twelve, like the best performing ones out of all the ones we've done so far. So that's still ongoing on Facebook. If yeah. you guys want to go and watch that, because it's pretty cool. Oh yeah. I mean, we we get the ones that got the most views, and they have the most interesting stories. Like Shane, for yeah. example, he's he's going to be coming up. Which we didn't Glories. think that was going to be a big we show, and it not. turned into a pretty decent one. I you think know, it's number uh, I think it's one or two or three. Wow, or five. yeah, it's it's way up there. No pressure, so, Sean. Yeah. Well, today we have uh, <laughs> Sean Cranford with. Oh gosh, let's see if I can remember. I do remember all these by heart, but I'm trying not to say the LLC's name. But we have Mattress by Appointment Only, who is our gracious sponsor, and thank you so much for sponsoring the show. We really really appreciate it uh but that's not all sean does it just sell mattresses okay so um so sean cranford we'll get into this um a little bit but again thank you for our sponsors uh of course we do have people that keep talking about it but we're being very selective about who we want on this so yeah, yeah. uh I, I guess safe to say you made the cut then sean okay we, we appreciate okay. that it's the beard it is yeah because this is a bearded episode it looks yeah, like it looks it is. like it and yeah. we were just talking about our beards and not to go off on that <laughs> tangent but i told you i had a story about it and Back in the day, uh, when I was doing loans, people would look at me, and I was wondering why they're staring at me so much, you know, while we're talking and, and in a meeting, and I'm asking them very serious questions, and they're like, eventually... You looked like a 19-year-old. They finally you. said it. They're like, <laughs> how long have you been doing loans? And I'm like, God dang, I'm 35 at the time. I'm like, long enough? You know, I don't know. How do you want me to answer that? You want my resume or what? That's funny, because that's how mine started. <laughs> like, I originally grew up, my I didn't have a beard. I had like a little... Uh, where it went around my chin and I had like a little goatee. I forget okay. what that's called. But uh, I was just tired of people being like, what are you, like 21? I was like 30 at the time. Right. I was like, no. Right. I'm a bit older than that. I mean, God bless me with this young face, which I think yeah. later on in life is good. To You'll have. appreciate it. I yes. will. Yes. Um, so I grew it and I remember I used this Mary Kay shave lotion and or the shave foaming stuff. And I was like an every other day shaver, maybe every third day. Um, and then I could never grow in this one spot. And I started using this Mary Kay stuff and my facial hair started growing crazy. Hmm. And I was like, what is going on with this stuff? I still have half a bottle of it because I never used it after that because I didn't need it anymore because it, it grew so fast. I was like, cool, maybe I can grow a beard now. And I'm, I'm going to have to 
request that from you so I can give it to my brother. Um, okay. My brother has tried to grow out a beard several times. He's just so thin. Yeah, right. But Sean looks like he's never had a beard. Sean's never like had that. a problem with it. looks like he had a beard when he was like 10. And I, I, just, I, I had a beard in high school. <laughs> wow. Um, okay, so you bought the beer for your buddies. Uh, yeah, I yeah. got yeah. Yeah. Um, I got tired of that, so I, I cannot remember the last time I haven't had facial hair. Right. Because mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. always grew it out. And then um, we were in Jamaica on a trip, and – I, I just kind of let it grow out because, you know, yeah. vacation. Yeah, on vacation. Of course. Why would you? And I have my hat on and my sunglasses. My wife's like, I really like if, you know, if you let it grow out. Cool. So I let it grow out a little bit, but I keep it kind of trimmed shorter like this. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Yeah. And then I'd let it grow a little further and further. <laughs> she kept liking and, it. And yeah. And so now I'm like, well, where do I stop? Dude, ZZ you know, Top, I, man. I don't want to go all let's crazy. Let's get all the way with, down. Yeah, I know. Yeah, let's braid it. You're, you're getting that wide in there. So I think I think yeah. it needs to be a Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah, but I, that's where we need to get to. I feel like, so I'll have people come in the mattress store with their kids. And like their little kids, you know, two or three-year-old, will call me Papa. Oh, and, oh okay. Because they're like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Um you know, my dad has a beard, so she just relates everybody that has a beard. Is that's cool. Grandpa. Okay. Yeah. Like, okay, so does it make people more at ease talking I to think so. you? Or does it, you know, make I think you so. feel more noble, maybe? A noble. I, I so, like noble. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. Depends on the situation. Yeah. I think, yeah. it, you know, because after I grew it and I was really excited and then I had back surgery and then I was like, well, I'm not shaving because I can't bend over at all. So it just kept growing. And then you know, it got... You, you bend your elbow to shave, not your back. Well, to get, you know, to... to <laughs> Just to do the maneuvers you sometimes need <laughs> yeah, to wash and everything. Around, yeah, yeah, yeah. It became too much. I could barely wipe my own ass, okay? So it was like shaving is not going to happen. That, okay. That, so that that's to put sense. it in perspective. Yeah, but yeah. then it got gray. And I was like, shit. Now I've gone the opposite direction. And people don't say a word anymore, thank God. So I accomplished my goal, but it went the opposite direction. And I have gray now. And that's what concerns me. So now is the time to go clean shaven? A baby face with gray hair. Yeah, but what a conundrum. you see the ads like on Facebook and they're like, hey, dye your beard. And, oh, and then, but, but but you read the comments and people are like, no, people like it. <laughs> yeah. Like I, the salt and pepper. I, or whatever. you see women comment and they're like, don't do that. Yeah. Please don't do that. Yeah. Like, it's fine. And the it only one I care like about is my wife. Right. Right. And so she loves it. I think. I mean, <laughs> we haven't talked about it in a while, I guess. Yeah. But Matt's <laughs> wife, leave a comment below on this video. Do you actually like how the beard looks? She's such a lovely person that she probably would lie to me just to make me feel OK about it. You know, either way, really? she's like, oh, it's really? fine either way. OK. You know, okay. but I know if I shave it, I know what I'm in for, though. I know I'm going to get asked that question again. And I'm 42 now and I'm probably going to lose my mind if someone asks me. But that's OK. I right. think my wife's threatened to like <laughs> banish me until it grows back. Oh wow! If I did shave it, Dang, that's impressive. Yeah. Because I, I get the opposite. I'm yeah. like, shave it off. Well, the big thing is she doesn't like it when I grow the mustache part out too long. <laughs> mm-hmm. So yeah. I've just learned to keep that trimmed down. She doesn't care about the rest of it. It's just I've uh, got to keep it trimmed too. That drives me crazy. Have you seen the memes where it's like um, I don't remember, like Henry Cavill or something like that, and has a beard and looks great, and then it shows him shaved and like flattens his chin out <laughs> to make him look all super goofy. <laughs> So, you know, it's like how I would look if I shaved. That's um, what I'm afraid of now, too. I'm getting self-conscious about it all. Yeah, now. I don't know the last time I physically saw my chin, so maybe right? it'd be all it's, weird. It's shocking. I'm not sure like, how many chins are yeah, under just, there or anything. Right, you know? yeah, so, it I mean, hides that. And ah, my please. tattoo lady People once don't said understand that. Yeah. that uh, um, my tattoo lady, lady once said that um, beards are like makeup for men. It's true. Fair enough. It is very true. I yeah. agree 100%. Right. Yeah. Okay. So we're that keeping beards, it sounds like. Yeah. Good, yeah. good deal. Okay. I just can't re- I can't bring myself to use just for him and my beard, though. Right. Like, I can't do it. Now that everybody knows that I would be dying it, but I got to own it, right? Well, right. And <laughs> but it, is, right. is gray hair that bad? I mean, no. It's not. It's, not. it's more accepted yeah. now, maybe, than it, it used to be. You know, when I was it growing is. up, like... It was probably it's more common. For oh God men forbid to you got dye your hair or whatever. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no. My my dad always had a mustache, and I remember when it turned gray, and I was like, "Oh, he looks so old now." Yeah. So I wonder what my kids feel like. But uh, maybe. So yeah, I feel whatever. like we talked at the beginning of the episode where we wouldn't talk about politics, and I'd say, Uh-oh. "No politics." Now I feel like it's no beard. <laughs> no no beard. more beard. No, no more beard. We yes, we'll move on now. We <laughs> digress. Sorry. We, um, well, it's a very important subject. For well, men, for anybody honestly, that has beards that yeah, listens to this, which I'm sure a lot of people that. We have like a lot the outdoors of rugged, have beards, right? A lot of rugged explorers, right? Yeah, so that's yeah, why yeah. we we, we cater sense. to our demographics. Okay, so so we'll get back to the beard stuff <laughs> later on. <laughs> Let's talk about 
Sean Cranford. Sean. What we need to do is next time. Sorry, before yeah, we you're get fine. into this, I'll, my last point. Well, next time we need to plan this out. We need to like, wear <laughs> lumberjacky types. There you go. Shirts. You need to match. Matt. Get some suspenders. I got some plaid. Suspenders. Mm. Yeah, I get some plaid. Double-breasted pockets. You know. Yeah, I like the patches on the yeah, shoulders yeah. and stuff. And we all, we shooting have, guns or whatever. We have to do our hair like Matt. You know, get that really. I don't know crisp. if you can do that. I don't have enough. It takes years of training. I don't have enough. He says enough gel. Enough gel today. <laughs> no, I wish I could give this to people, like give my hair plugs to people or something, because I see all these guys that are my age or less, and they're they're balding, and they always are like, God, I just love your hair so much. Like, I just wish I had it. And I'm like, man, sometimes it's too much for me. I wish I could give it away, you know? But, you can. Grow it out a little bit longer. You can donate. Oh, gosh. Oh, don't put me on that project. That'd be, that'd be interesting, though. Um, I don't know if you'd want to see me with long hair, but... Um, well, the nice thing is, and this is what I ended up doing near the end of that, was I just wore a lot of buns. Yeah, so I noticed that. Tie it up into there, and it's out of the way. And it's it nice to forget it. You had the man looks, bun. You're very, good. very uh, trendy, I guess well, would be the well, way to put you. it. Well, thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, yeah. David. It looked cooler when I had like on my like cotton fleece or fleece <laughs> shirt with the hoodie. It was all <laughs> very artsy looking. I was like, Tell yeah, me you wore like some yeah. like handmade bracelets and I stuff. I have some of those, some, actually. Yeah. Like a beanie. Yeah, yeah. A little leather But beanie that's up on the top of the hair. Like, right, you know what I mean. You like, don't you don't want to mess up the hair, so right. it just kind of lays up there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have that. No. The trendy people in our demographic just left, so that's cool. <laughs> um, but Sean, or they're just laughing. Their you, I hope so. <laughs> at themselves, like, they don't even know what they're talking about. Yeah, oh. I wear all of those things, and I'm still cool. Well, if a trendy if a trendy hipster wants to sponsor the show, <laughs> we, will, we will wear this yeah. for one of the shows. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, as far as Sean Cranford, I mean, you're probably honestly one of the more interesting people I know because you have such a different brain for business that um, I deal with a lot of people that own businesses, but I don't normally deal with too many people that own multiple businesses. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do get one probably maybe every six months or something like that that owns, you know, six businesses or something like that. So taxes are amazing to go through when people oh, yeah. own multiple businesses. But you're also mm -hmm. one of the most organized people I've ever met. So um, uh, I did Sean's home loan for his beautiful home that they built in Nixa that I hope oh, nice. you stay there longer than the rest of them you've owned the last five years. But... <laughs> Uh, actually, I don't keep coming back for loans. At least six months, though. Yep, yeah, and six payments. Yeah, six payments. You see, he listens too. Um, so the house, though, is so beautiful, and I love what you've done with your Halloween stuff. But um, the, you guys were up for four one seven magazines. Home of the year. Home of the year. That's where I was headed. I was. It was escaping me. Um, and who was your builder on that one again? Uh, Mike Milliken. Mike Milliken, Milliken Homes. building. Yeah, uh, his sign's still out in front of the sign, in I front bet. of the house. I'd um, leave it there forever. He, and I think he's gonna build. Actually, I know he's gonna build another one in the subdivision, just kind of where we can see. Not the same. I was like, please don't yeah. build the same thing. Yeah. Um, but modern, you know, similar. Yeah. Um. So, and I, I'm pretty sure. I haven't asked him, but I'm pretty sure that lead came from driving by our house and seeing it. Be oh wow! Oh so, cool! Wow! Yeah. yeah. But uh, it's. A unique house. Yeah, and yeah Halloween decorations. We have some twelve foot skeletons out front. Dude, where'd you get those? Uh Home Depot, but they're hard they're hard to come by. Really? Yeah. Really? I've them never seen them. Yeah. There. I have three of them. I thought they were like becoming um, all the rage. Like I saw Dude, all they're these, huge. Like, yeah, yeah, they're twelve foot. Posts. And then there's a werewolf that like howls at you if you come to the front door. There's a spider that goes off the pizza lady. Actually, the spider <laughs> oh, no. she's scared of spiders. Oh, and no. the first time she came oh, to the gosh. house, she's like does it jump? I was like, no, it doesn't jump. I mean, it'll make noise at you. And right. she like, you'll see her like inch around it. Oh no. And, but keep eye contact with it. Uh, but yeah, we're also in the Nixa. Um, it's like the parade of, uh, Halloween decorations. Yes. We're like one oh. of 14 houses for that. Yes. So vote Joy for Bray that. Put that together. Yep. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Yeah. So cool. vote for that. It's um, super cool. Cause they look way bigger than 12 feet when you see them. Yeah, actually, they look like they're 20 big. feet tall. Yeah. How do you keep them up in the wind though? Like, so we went to <laughs> Home Depot and got these, they're like corkscrew stakes. Yeah. And each one is supposed to, you're supposed to be able to pull up with like 200 pounds of force okay. and they wow. don't come up. Wow. So there's four of those, one at each corner. But if it gets really windy, we'll go out there. You can quickly detach those from the legs okay. and we'll lay them down okay. just preemptively mm -hmm. okay. to keep, you know, them from I've blowing over. Because now you can't some, replace them. No, so. and they're probably not some cheap. pretty big windstorms recently too. Yeah. And yeah. it's been wild actually. Right yeah. before you guys bought your house, they trimmed your trees and all that. And that's right when that huge storm came yes. through Nixon and stuff. Nice. And thank God you guys had the foresight to do that. Yeah. And, um, the, the next morning I went there, uh, the pool had just been installed and you have to brush it every day. 
And the pool was just full of limbs oh, and bad. it was a mess. It took me three hours to clean it back. Oh out. my God. But, yeah. Oh my <laughs> so God. That was before you, you we even don't have a robot joy. that does it yet? Yeah. I do, but these were like <laughs> limbs. That he these were get, limbs. He can't get in the pool very well. But right. I'm just saying. So, no, yeah. well, there's a skimmer that kind of drives it. Right. Oh, yeah, but, I, I but, used to maintain pools. Oh, when I lived in Arizona, I would Oh, tons pools. of them there. Yeah, so well, I this one's it. cool, too, because it's right out your back window, too, or right out your back porch, so that's an awful nice to have. But Millican Homes builds a great house. Yeah. It's super yes. cool, man. I don't yeah, know why. he's built a couple for us. Yeah. But you just seem like the kind of guy that would have one of those, like, Roomba lawnmowers. Do you have one of those? <laughs> you know, I looked Don't into Don't tempt him, dude. I, I looked into it's those. It's only $600. It's not bad. I looked into those. First of all, a pretty good friend of mine does my lawn, so right, I don't want to yeah, cut him out. Yeah. yeah. Right. And he does a really good job. I've been using him for a long time. But um, you can buy me I've one. I've seen him, and there's there's neighbor. I had a neighbor at the last house we owned that uh-huh. had one, and it was constantly stuck. Oh, um, I can see that. Now, if you steal them, there's like a invisible barrier. They'll lock down. The alarm will go off. You can't. Oh. You can't just take off of the thing. Wow. I have looked into this. Okay. I was going to say personal I've, experience with your neighbors. I've wondered or? that though. I did wonder that if you just leave yeah, it out yeah, there, somebody's right. going to take. I'm a assuming they're heavy, item. but they're yeah. not like super. Heavy. They're GPS. The, the good good ones are thousands of dollars. Oh yeah, but sure. Yeah. But if you you have an basically invisible fence you bury, yeah. like for dogs. Okay. And if it leaves that, this loud blaring alarm goes off. <laughs> huh. uh, you can't, it'll lock you out. You can't operate the thing until it's back into your perimeter. Wow. Interesting. Um, Very interesting. But I've seen a lot of people have them. They get stuck. They mow every day. Mm. So you don't have big grass clippings. They're tiny little ones, which filter yeah, down. And that makes and sense. Refertilize yeah. sure. the lawn. But I looked into it. But they don't leave like the nice stripes either, do they? They just kind of roam around, right? Right. right. They're like kind of like a room really? in your house. It's kind of They just random. go to, they, they kind of run into around? something, you know, and then they. You don't, until you don't knows. program lines into it. So it does like. Per- That's per- what I would think. You That's bury what I would think too. stuff that it knows not to go in certain areas. Oh. But well, this it's not the pretty wide line. Right. That's what I don't. I don't like this anymore. I'm not going to get one I worked very hard at my nice, pretty straight lines, Dan. Yes. And it's a work of love is what it is. So I have seen the one. Ones that like the Modot uses, where they have the robot that you can those control cool. from a distance. Those are pretty big and wide. I'm assuming cool. those could do like you could just send your front porch and just yeah. sit there. And those are that probably cool, also actually. twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, those oh, easy. are way easy. more than that actually. Yeah. From what the city said, they're probably pushing more like close to two hundred thousand yeah, roughly. Probably, yeah, because it's new technology. Well, sure, you know, sure, but it keeps yeah. people safe from being on those huge embankments. Too. And it's yeah, commercial, sure. which they can always charge more for. Yeah, I and remember, they're big. I mean, they're, they're huge. They're, they're not like they're small decks. They're big decks. Right. Oh yeah, I mean, and they've they got like tank tires on them and, or tank mm, tracks and all that. Treads, but yeah. uh, but anyways, um, so Sean Cranford though. So Sean, you own uh, first of all with the sponsorship, it's mattress by appointment only. Where are you guys located? Uh, Eighteen twenty five West Grand. Easy enough. Not too uh, far from in here. Springfield. Corner of Ga- Grand and Kansas Expressway. Right. Uh, so if you're familiar with that, there's a gas station there. There's a strip center, and you guys are behind the gas station technically. Used to be a Family Dollar. Everybody, That's what it is. Uh, everybody used to be a knows that. Dollar. Yep. Okay. Yeah. It's a great um, location, though. Yeah. You know, um, we sell new mattresses. Uh, the phone number you can text or call four one seven four two five nine eight six two. Um, Which is my answered wife, all the time. Yeah, answered all the time at nine thirty nine. Please don't call nine thirty nine. Uh, it was nine forty five the other night. Yeah, but. they called and they're like, "Are you still open?" I'm like, well, I don't know many places that are open at all this late. Um, God, but I'm no. happy to answer your questions. To... Right, we can set up an appointment, which sure, is in yeah. the name, which yep. is why I wanted to stress that yep. because a lot of people these days we are in this lifestyle change of drive through service, right? Or right. Walmart pickup service, which I love. But now it's bleeding into everyone else's business. And that's kind of what I, I wanted to talk about with the topic of when you guys have, it's called literally mattress by appointment. Right. And I know when I see you on Facebook, it's, it's frustrating because some people just don't abide by that or care about that, or they schedule appointments and don't show up. Right. Um, mm. I feel like it's such a it's such a strange business though because it's not like they're super high dollar items so you don't get a lot of people that might be loyal to the appointment I guess sure. or the process. I'm sure that's got to be a little frustrating. So how was that when you first opened up? So uh, are we you op- still dealing with it? Yeah, I mean, always well. We opened up you know five plus years ago, oh, um, wow. and. Oh wait! We're, I feel like I should have done this. No, nope, wrong go. one. We're going nope, back in time one. now. So. Oh, I see. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Five years ago. Five yeah. Years ago. Years ago. <laughs> so magical years ago. <laughs> we uh, we'll have people that'll you know ask for the address and we'll send them a general location and they'll play Dick Tracy and try to find it. 
And and the so reason GPS we do by appointment is, Dick you know, I, I don't have a bunch of employees. I don't have a ton of overhead. I'm not in the prettiest building in town. And you can't and, be there that much. Well, though. right. And I go out and do, you know, we have a, a helper, our son, actually. Yeah. But we do, I'll do deliveries too. Oh, yeah. Or I have a truck to unload of mattresses or appliances. <laughs> or So oh, not just always there. And, you know, I don't give you popcorn and coffee when you walk in the door and <laughs> I'll God. have people that'll say, you know, Oh, you know, last time I bought a mattress, um, I paid four times as much for the same thing. Mm -hmm. And I was there for four hours. I'm like, how, why you're not buying a car. That's what I was going to say. Um, that is crazy. Well, why crazy are you at a time. mattress store for four Even hours? if you are financing it though. You Even know? if you're financing, I can still have you in and out pretty quick. And delivered within four hours probably. <laughs> right. Like I've had people walk in and literally have Gabe, our delivery guy, follow them home to deliver their mattress. Like within an hour of them picking it out. Right. Um, you know, a lot of these big box mattress stores, you're ordering it and you're waiting for it. And oh God. Two yeah. to six weeks, which is even worse since the whole COVID thing. And it's so hard to pick up a mattress and like, take it with you. I, I really just, I, I don't know why it's just a gut reaction that I laugh when I see people that strap them to their cars. Yeah. Such and a I'm like, idea. man, I know it's brand new and it's probably not making it home because it's already sailing three feet up above the car. Yeah. Well, right. And they'll yeah. strap it down Jeez, wrong, please. which will strap your mattress down for you. I've put <laughs> Kings on the top of like Buick sedans Sweet. and people drive an hour home. <laughs> oh God. Um, yeah. Hour home. To Monette. Uh, I had a lady do that and I was like, uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. Oh, oh dude, no. that's sketchy right yeah. there. Yeah. Oh, I was worried. She took the word she, right out of my mouth. But she called me when she got home and said, I made it. Okay, good. I was like, please call me and let me know you're okay and you didn't cause a 14-car pile. Good up. for you, man. <laughs> but we know how to strap mattresses down. You don't strap them to the roof rack. You run them through the inside. Yeah. But yeah. we'll see. I've got memes Friends. that people have sent me of them hovering, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A foot above the car and barely oh, yeah. floating on there. Oh, I see. Magic carpet ride. I live near the highway and I see mattresses all the time. Yeah. And uh, I had three of them in one pile that came out and were in my yard technically. Yeah. But so luckily I've got a good relationship with the people at MoDOT now. So I can yeah. call and be like, hey, can you guys come get these mattresses? I, I had a guy text me once and uh, he said, I need a king mattress. I need it today. So oh. we set up a time and his time comes around and he doesn't show up. Right. And so I text was like, you know, are you having trouble finding it? Some, some people go to the wrong side of grand. Fair enough. And, uh, he goes, no, I found one on the side of the road. Uh, uh, so, oh. okay, good luck. And then he texts me later and goes, Oh, it blew out of the back of my truck and I can't find it. Can I be there in the next hour? Oh my God. And I'm, <laughs> And then he, but I kept the bed bugs. Me, what yeah, the hell, man? Like, the bed bugs are in my truck, so we're good. So then he texts me again, and he's like, "Well, I found it. I, I don't need a good mattress luck, now." Buddy. Yeah. Well, he that means your mattress probably wasn't making it home either. If he didn't probably, have to well, tie I would have with. given him some straps and helped <laughs> right. him out instead of just tossing it in the back of the pickup truck. But. Oh my god, that's so great, man. Well, I bet you know it's funny because I do I follow you very closely on Facebook just because the stories that you have with people are. They're classic and very sad all at the same time. I yeah. mean, that's just one story that oh, um, that you know people that are you know always back and forth about the mattress. Why do we have to do it by appointment? And just as you described it, but then also when they don't show up, that would really upset me if it happened more than like say once. But it seems like it's like every other day for you guys. Almost, yeah. It 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 does happen. We yeah. try to confirm people. We'll have people confirm. So we try to confirm an hour ahead yeah. if they're still coming. We've had people confirm and not show. Right. Um, I had a lady once that confirmed, said, I'm getting in my Uber right now. Didn't have a car. Okay. And she didn't show up. Mm -hmm. And an hour went by and honestly was a little concerned that right. she got abducted by her Uber <laughs> driver. Um, <laughs> Which means you have a great heart too, man. Right. And I mean, uh, I wanted her to come in and buy a mattress, sure. of course. But, but <laughs> still concerned as well that, you know, somebody vanished right and I, I you know i and literally you're the last one she talked to right <laughs> that i know of yeah and you um, have this mattress store where you can hide right, things yeah. i just <laughs> and a big truck yeah we've got a big you know places to store things <laughs> so things. anyway i just right oh i see what you're saying yeah. i was the last one to, so yeah. i'm suspect number right, one right, okay right, right. all right yeah uh, so, <laughs> and then the Uber driver too. Right. I watched uh, too many 
Yeah, it's shows so there now. Some <laughs> I could write a book. I bet. I could write a book. And so, did she ever contact you? Yeah. No, never heard back. Never heard back. So we and still I don't know. And said, sh- "You okay? Uh, do I call the police? Like, do- <laughs> right. I'm really. Do I, I call Uber? That's what so I would have right. done. What do I, I do here? Concern. Oh God. Yeah. So, but yeah. If I anybody mean, no knows what happened to this lady, please <laughs> comment below. She well, was okay. wanting a mattress at one point. But but on the flip side of that, like. If we're really busy, say a Saturday, we'll tell people, all right, here's the address. I'm here till three o'clock. Right. Um, and Come and, and then, please, and then, right. Then four o'clock will roll around and they'll call or text and say, I'm here. Mm-hmm. And right. I'm like, are you? Well, I told you till three. <laughs> uh, so on the flip side of that, even if you do no. have hours, people are going to show up as they please you know huh. and that's the hardest part you know but they don't realize that it really is just is it's technically a mom and pop shop it is. i mean it's you it's your wife it's your son right who's and an he's awesome gone worker on weekends but, but and he's gone doing other things with the deliveries and all that but you're not gonna leave your businesses. wife there by herself either to deal with these people too because right the stories i see are just like i wouldn't want my wife either there yeah and i've you know i've had guys message and and or come in and go well where's the pretty blonde lady oh Oh. why do you need the pretty blonde lady i can understand you know (laughs) some people do have loyalty like when i sold cars and people wouldn't ask for you when they come in so i understand the loyalty of wanting her to get the commission sure but then i'll say you know it goes in the same bank account right we're husband and wife right i'll take care of you and then they're cool but some people are just like well Looking around, where is she? Oh, like, weird. Yeah, that she's would be not really weird. looking for a mattress. I mean, she's on the other side of that That's what wall I was at her say. desk. But I can bring her out if you don't. If you think I'm catfishing you, right? But um, I'm not catfishing you for a mattress. <laughs> Didn't even think about that, but you're right. I had you're right. people. Is she even real? Like, yeah, she is real. I'm not acting as her. So, what did they Facebook stalk her or something just to find I, out she's the pretty blonde? I mean, I what? Think so. Okay. Oh, Interesting. gosh, that's another side of things too. It, having a pretty wife's great, you know. But, yeah. Oh, it's great. But when you deal with the public, it's a little strange, obviously. It is. <laughs> so let's talk about as far as mattress by appointment. It's not just mattresses. That's the important part about this. Uh, you guys also sell. You have now branched out into the home appliance market, right? Yes. And we're not talking just regular like bottom of the mill stuff here. We're talking really nice Samsung appliances. Yes, so, and what, we have. Yeah. Um, sorry, you're fine. Uh, Go for it. I mean, we even have. You know, we get a, a couple of truckload of the family hub with the screen that you can. You know, there's an app on your phone. You can view your grocery or what's in your That's fridge. That's the one you from find when out gone. when you don't have things. And, right. Yeah. Oh. You can open it up and you can see what's inside your fridge. Nice. And uh, it'll, sh- oh, milk's, you know, almost empty. You better get some milk. So we even have all the way up to those, but everything we sell is new. Um, most of it is, it's all got, you know, one year warranty with yeah. it. And you can extend that too, but do you uh, mainly just work in refrigerators, or is it dryers and laundry machines? Uh, washer, washer, dryer, dryers, refrigerator. I have some ranges coming on a truck microwaves. I bought today. Oh man, uh, microwaves! I have some yeah. on the truck. Everybody's I today always as well. looking for an oven range, man. It seems yep. like that's all I ever see on that's Facebook. That's so. probably the most asked for, aside from like chest freezers yeah. or stand up freezers. Really? So, yep. Okay. So, well, did, we have a lot you, of hunters uh, in this area, so that makes sense. Did you have and, to deal with the freezer shortage of the COVID years? We mm-hmm. we started doing appliances not terribly long ago. Yeah, so, okay. so you did a I'm sure that. if um, I was into it with the whole COVID thing, oh. uh, when that first begun, mm. I am sure I would have <laughs> sold every one of those right. I could have gotten. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just well, remember being especially... they were short for like months and months. They oh, just man. didn't have enough freezers. It and was, still, the weirdest thing. right yeah. now, I had a couple uh, come in the other day that had been to Lowe's. And, of course, my prices were lower. Right. Um, but... They said that the rep told them six weeks for a washer and dryer huh. if they ordered it. Still, Dang. still a delay. Now, I don't know. They maybe were after a particular model that was Probably. hard to get or something yeah, like that. Yeah, because they but, keep a lot of them. But. Right. So, um, but yeah, I have stuff in stock. We can deliver. I delivered a fridge the same day somebody bought it the other day. So That's nice. hard work, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like I have though, a guy that delivers. I'm not. Oh, good. <laughs> I haven't. If, if it does it well, work. I'll get into. Um, I'll buy a box truck with the lift gate and oh, man, we'll go man. down that road. Oof. But so I feel like though we kind of glazed over the mattress by appointment, yeah. the, the benefits of it. Oh sure, sure, oh, sure. By appointment, I, definitely. Yeah, like what? What? Like if I went there, what? Why would I go to your place over like another mattress store? Oh man, you had said things like prices. I heard that, and then this well, and, and I'm but, a shopper there. I've I've shopped yeah. there, and I think I've bought. In, 
don't know, three, or five, three or four, five mattresses yeah. there, pretty much. And it sounds like you might start buying appliances there too. Uh, yeah, I, I need one for my man cave. That's what we were talking about right before yep. this. And I was like, I'll take a sweet Samsung for the man cave yeah, for if sure. it's cheaper than Lowe's. Why not? So, so why do you like mattress by appliance so much? I liked it because it's the premise of why you guys started it in the first place is it's individualized service right where mm-hmm. you get to come mm-hmm. in you get to not have your salesperson which it's usually a salesperson they're very salesy they're trying to sell you they're everything plus you. the warranty that goes with it the stupid coating that you don't need on it or whatever they do then they want to finance it and it's usually a disaster and i've been that same person where i've been at a mattress store for four hours and i'm like dude yeah. just get me this one i want and you guys said you deliver it great let's do it um, so it's usually just a terrible experience because then they've got six other people that come in. They usually have a whole family with them and they're picking one out for their kid or something like that. And it's just like the stories I see from you where it's always, they want this champagne mattress for bush light prices. And then it's usually like haggling with a car salesman and it's usually very terrible. That's why most people hate shopping for mattresses. I loved the fact that not just cause I know you and I want to support your business, but the premise of it, being able to go in and say, Hey, I know I'm going to have your undivided attention for yeah. that 30 minutes to an hour. I already kind of know what I want, which I think most people kind of know the size at least when they go in mm-hmm. and I can go in there and literally lay on those and just see which one doesn't hurt my back essentially is how sure. I pick them. Huh. Um, because okay. my back is super sensitive and it takes me a while to get used to a new mattress. So if I know if I can lay on that one and it doesn't hurt, that's the one I'm going to get. I'm usually much faster than most people, but I can imagine a lot of people him haw around and sure. the decision is a big decision for a lot of people because sometimes it is quite a bit of money to spend on a mattress, yeah. but knowing that you're going to have it for, you know, 10 years or more, it makes it more of an investment than it is just a purchase that you bought at Walmart. So I like the fact that I could go in and I know I'm going to have, you know, Sean or Angie with me and we can just talk about it and see which one you recommend, which ones you have better feedback from people. It just makes the process so much more simple and I loved it. I mean, it it was great. And, and like I said, I could probably have your attention anyways, but if yeah. I was the general public, then I would know that I, I get to walk in and, and talk to this person and pick their brain for the hour that I'm there and find my best option for me. It's much easier. Right. And nice. a salesperson yeah. at, you know, a, a regular mattress store is going to try to push you to the mattress that makes them the most commission. Absolutely. Uh, they're going to try to push you to, you know, the sales manufacturers, goals that they have. Yeah, yeah. manufacturers will have promos that if you push this mattress, will give you a little bit extra on the back end or something like that. Um, I want to sell you something that you like i don't i don't really i don't ever honestly you i don't push people to my nicest mattress off the bat that i make the most on right um and matt had a warranty issue with the mattress and it was and i took care of everything stellar um most places are going to give you a manufacturer phone number, try to whiskey out the door because they don't want other customers to see you're having a bad experience. Yes. Sure. Plus you've already and, been there for four hours. And it's right. a disaster because you never get communication from Well, them. yeah, you're trying to call the manufacturer and I deal with the manufacturer. I got him taken care of, yeah. got him store credit, full store credit for what he paid. And I nice. ended up buying three more mattresses. Right. And, and then his, I think it was your wife and mom came in and yeah. picked out some stuff yeah. um, as well. Oh, so they came back for more of them. That's right. right. Yeah. So nice. it's, it's not just the sales part of it. You know, you go to a normal mattress store, your salesperson's pretty good chance. They're not going to be there in a year or two or three years down the road to Give take care that. of you. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be the next salesperson. That's now not making commission on your warranty issue. Yeah. It's going to be a different sales manager. You know, it's always me or Angie that take care of people. So I know what I told you. I'll remember yes. you. I may not remember your name, but I'll right. remember what mattress you bought. Yes. Right. And, <laughs> yeah. you know, that's like I, me with people never with social security mattress. numbers, you know. Right. And I get a lot of repeat and referral business. Yeah. I'll get people that'll buy a mattress for their Airbnb. Yep. And they will text us and say, I want that exact mattress again. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've had several occurrences where I've had a price increase from the manufacturer and I just take the hit and make sure to give them the same price for what they paid before. That's so awesome. I love repeat and referral business well, because yeah. it means I did a good job. Well, yeah. And that it means a lot to you as a business owner, but the best part about all of that, that you just said is the fact that you are dealing directly with the business owner when right. you go in there. And like you said, with salespeople, usually you get these guys in, they go through some brief training about mattresses, right? But there's a lot to mattresses, especially yeah. now because every manufacturer's got so many options now. And they change them. And they yeah. change them all the time. The warranties change. It's so what is your favorite that, option? So. Yeah. Like my parents love their sleep number bed. 
Um, some people I know like them, and some people don't yeah. like them. There's it's these cool, these cool, so expensive. cool materials. Cooling materials can get the breathing material. I mean, there's all these <laughs> things that I haven't bought a mattress in a while. Right. But it's like there's all these cool things. But I'm I know curious what your favorite, what your favorite feature is to sell. Um, mm. j- pocketed coil hybrid is kind of the most popular. It's what okay. everybody wants. Um, what does that mean? Uh, <laughs> so a hybrid is just two materials. So it's springs and gel memory foam. Is oh, okay. The, the okay. But they're current. intertwined. Yeah. Right. But then. Um, cooling top mattresses is another popular, and if you pick a mattress that's not, I have a protector. We can make it cooling. So, <laughs> um, add that on top. Yeah. But yeah, I, I I have my favorites, but I don't you know push people in a certain direction. Sure. I want yeah. them to be happy with it because I I want them to come back to see yeah. me. I want them to send their family. Well, yeah. everybody's, everybody's body is different. Like, I, I, sure. I, I don't oh, have Matt's yeah. back, so I don't necessarily need his kind of right. mattress. So right. And well, and, the and that's needs. the thing with by appointment. I generally don't have multiple people unless somebody's early and late and yeah, overlap, overlap, but then I, you know, kind of keep them separate. But, yeah. you know, I've been to the normal mattress store and you lay on a mattress and your salesperson standing over you. <laughs> and I'll generally, you know, try this mattress out, take your time. Nobody else has come and lay however you normally sleep. And I go to the complete end of the yeah. showroom and, and give them their time. How, you know, how I, many people have fallen asleep? Oh, actually, dude. I don't <laughs> I've thought about stopping by there just to take a nap. Here's a funny story. Um, So (laughs) I had this couple come in, and uh, they decided what mattress they're going to buy. I've had a couple occurrences of this, but their kid fell asleep on a mattress. (laughs) And, uh, because they were, you know, picking out stuff and asking questions. And they said, we're, we're going to play a prank on our son. So (laughs) their son's asleep. And they leave. They're like, we'll be back in three or four minutes. Once we leave, wake him up and and tell him that mom and dad forgot you. I was like, man, that's. Dude, now you're a part of it. That's traumatic. Uh, So I played along with it, you know. And I was like, and the kid woke up all painted. Oh, God. I was like, somewhere down the road, this kid's going to go to therapy. And he's going to be like, oh, he's going to be mad at me, number one. And they're going to be like, tell us who hurt you. Um, But. He's gonna be like that mattress guy, guy. right? But or it's gonna be, you know, this is this traumatic event that my parents put me through, right? Something ruined me. I hope, right? I I can't stand mattresses now, right? Yeah. Uh, (laughs) So anyway, they came back for the kid, and um, I have a screenshot from my security camera. I had a kid fall asleep on a mattress. Oh man. Parents didn't try to leave him behind. Oh, right. <laughs> but uh, he's, you know, and of course, when you take a like short nap, you wake up confused. As right. To where oh, you course, are. Yeah. A little dazed, you know. That's yeah. why I don't really do naps anymore. No. I, I think I wake up feeling worse than. Right. Oh, yeah. Because I've got to dive in. Didn't... It's got to be a couple hours for me to right. take a nap because I don't oh. fall asleep easily. So My I lay there forever. I just do the 15 to 20 minutes. There's no way. It works for I me. Do that. I you fall asleep that quick. I was. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't know what planet I was. Yeah, there's no way. I don't really fall. I mean, I go into a restful state where i'm okay. like almost asleep okay and so it relaxes and rejuvenates but it doesn't i don't actually go all the way to sleep i don't think okay but if i do like a half hour or more that throws me off a whole bunch. oh no like i can't do oh. a long a nap or else i wake up like yeah my mom would come home every day from work and she would fall asleep on the couch and she'd be like this is my 20 minutes don't talk to me yeah. i don't want to hear yes. anything turn the damn tv down she wouldn't cuss but uh <laughs> but she had this magic way of falling asleep and and literally in 20 minutes she mm-hmm. would wake Wake up on the dot, yep. and she'd be like, "Cool, ready to go." That's me. I'm like, yep. "How do you do that?" 15, While I'm trying to be minutes. over here on the couch, trying to fall asleep, and I can't do it. Fifteen and twenty I, minutes, I'll wake up automatically. No, like, there's no way. Yeah. And I've thought about stopping by there just to see if, like, if you're not there to take a nap, <laughs> um, just to get away for a little bit. But you know what's important about what you said though about everybody's body is different. Is I thought that. Uh, you know, because of my back surgery, I thought I need more cushion because I need to be able to contour my body a little bit. And then as I'm talking to Sean and I'm trying all these beds, he's like, why don't you try that one that's mostly firm? He's like, that might be what your problem is. You've got too much cushion. And I was like, I never thought about it. And then as soon as I laid on that one, I was like, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Like it was like totally night and day that I've been shopping for these cushion mattresses when I didn't need one that had much cushion. Huh. I needed one that was more firm. So that was where having that appointment was super important and not being at a big box store where someone doesn't care about you whatsoever right. yeah. uh, or have any recommendations. They're like, well, I don't know. Maybe you just, I don't know. What What would yeah. you recommend? Speaking of this Uh-oh. kind of situation, I, I don't do hard mattress. My wife has back some back issues, so she needs to have like a firmer mattress, but I want to have a softer mattress. So what would you recommend in that situation? So first question, do you, do you, 
cuddle? Do you sleep next to each other? Do you not sleep next to each other? Separate rooms. I'm just joking. Yeah, we sleep separate next to each rooms. Other. Well, right. Most, I understand. Most of the time, bed, most of the time we're sleeping like... separate. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, you know, back most of the time. backs facing each other. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. So in that case, I would do like a split king. So it's two twin XLs. Mm-hmm. You get your own, whatever you want. Huh. She can get firm. You can get soft, medium. The sleep number is very pricey. Um, I've had people come in after being at sleep number with their adjustable base, similar equipment, uh, eight to twelve thousand dollars. Oh gosh! And I'll get them out the door for twenty five hundred to three with the adjustable mm-hmm. list. Too? Okay, because I would love all brand new, I, I like all to sleep at a little bit of an angle while she's like a right. flat sleeper. So and that's like, another hey. yeah. you know where the two twin XLs. I sold one this morning where. You know, one of them likes to sleep propped up. One likes to sleep flat. Yeah. And that's the way to do that is mm-hmm. a split king. That's what my parents do is they have that yeah. split. I've never yeah. seen a split king, though. So I have I one didn't... on the showroom right now. Okay. Yeah. So is there a gap in the middle? There is. Oh. Um, but you can get um, – my detail guy bought a split king from me and then found out he didn't want the gap in the middle. Yeah. Uh, you can get – it's – um. Oh, it's like a T-shaped pillow, but it fits between. I don't remember uh, what they're called now, but yeah. it'll make it back into basically a one-piece king. Yeah, that makes that's sense. That's crazy yeah, to that's me, cool. though. Yeah. So yeah. it's a little bit – is it the same size as a regular king then? Yeah. So you don't mess up everything else? Right. Okay. Yeah, so you put you know fitted sheets for twin XLs and then a flat sheet over top. So when you make the bed, it just looks – Okay, now, there we normal. go. Do you sell Murphy beds or things that go <laughs> like that? I don't sell Murphy beds. Dude, okay. where would you um, even find one of those? Well, you, you can have order, a regular I mattress. Buy them. They're pricey, but you can buy them online. Okay. Yeah, that, now, okay. mattresses, There's I can help you out. Yeah. yeah, but the actual mechanism yeah. is right. My, my parents use that for their guest room, and it looked, yeah. it, was like, it looked like a really nice bookcase. It actually had bookcase areas, but the middle right. section where the, like you would open up a cabinet, you just pull it down, it was mm-hmm. a mattress. But like with all my kids and stuff, it's like it'd be kind of nice to have. They have ones that are like bookcase high, and then you can open that down from the side, so it's not quite as like big and heavy. Right. This thing dropping down, but yeah, that's yeah. wild to me. Yeah. But but that's where it. That's why it is so important for the the appointment. You know, yes. but yeah. so you can talk about all these. It's one on one, and then you don't yeah. have most people that come in the store. I'd say fifty fifty actually. Are they feel awkward laying on a mattress in a store in front of a stranger? That's That'd why be, I don't yeah. stand over you. I. Yeah. Walk, walk away, away. um because nobody wants to be stood over where they're laying down that's kind of vulnerable creepy. you're it's mm-hmm. awkward well you want to um, be able to spend as much time on that as possible right. and you feel like if someone's there that you need to respect their time i guess sure. maybe yeah so True. you just feel like you need to get up and move so yeah. but i like to be able to sit for about 15 minutes or so in a bed and go is this really not going to hurt you know well mm-hmm. i've had overlap you know somebody's early somebody's late and it's a family with three kids that are running around and you know being a little rowdy and that's off-putting for somebody that wants to try to relax and not have somebody bumping into the mattress they're laying on. Yeah, that makes sense. So yeah. the by appointment thing, you don't have another family. You don't have somebody being awkward or strange. That if it's a you know single female that comes in by herself, you yeah. don't want to some yeah. guy standing over her. So it's yeah. it's that it's more sense. individualized. Yeah. It's not. It's a lot more personal. Right. Um, Which was the whole design somebody. behind the whole company, though. Right. Uh, because during the refi boom, uh, I was he was gracious enough to send me a lot of the people that own other mattress by appointment stores. And right. I didn't even know it was a thing until you, you bought into the company. And then I start realizing that, you know, every one of these people has the same exact mantra as you. And I probably talked to 30, 35 owners of those. And they all have the same mantra. Now, they don't sell as many mattresses as you. as I, I know that. So you're doing something right. But um, so what made you decide to get into the appliance market? Is it just kind of hand in hand? And I, I will insert here real quickly. We are at the oh, time. Oh, sheesh. We're like okay. five more minutes or so. Oh, okay, so, cool. Yeah. We can hit that real quick. Yeah. So um, we have friends that own mattress stores that have also gotten into appliances okay and it it, it goes well you yeah. get a lot of crossover sales somebody will come in for appliances they'll buy a mattress too or vice versa right um absolutely so it just goes well together and our appliance stuff is by appointment as well so right. we already have that huh. set up we already have the the forklift to unload those we already Man. you know have the means to do that as well and, and the way that we operate just allows for it to kind of go hand in hand. It does really. I mean, that's why Lowe's puts it all in the same area too, right? And yeah. Home Depot. But um, you know, so it looks like you might. Do you think you're going to outgrow your store since you've got all this going on? Well, we just <laughs> two years ago moved into that right. 500 square foot building, <laughs> right. and I just um, my supplier sent me uh, a truck this morning email. You know, a, a manifest of what 
and I bought another truck full of appliances. So <laughs> I'm the first thing actually Gabe's at the store or at the, oh, the yeah. warehouse moving stuff around to try to make room for <laughs> more. Cause I haven't sold everything from the first truck. I oh, still gosh. have a decent amount of refrigerators. Washer and dryers sell very fast. Wow. Um, but I've, I have some fridges. And so, um, hmm. If you want to deal on one, now's the time because I need some room. There you go. Uh, so, go in there and start haggling. Right. I'll, be, I'll be there tomorrow yep, probably with my schedule but, today. I mean, I have uh, the bespoke stuff, the changeable panel front Dang. refrigerators. but Changeable panels? Yeah, now you can change. They, they're white glass. You can put black glass Whoa. in them. There's different colors wow. you can buy. You can swap all the panels out. Dang. You can mix and match them. You That's cool. White bottom, blue top. What the heck? Yeah. Wow. I didn't. Yeah, it's pretty Interesting. cool. Is so. that only Samsung? That I has think that they have that. That's pretty cool. Patented, just like the family hub, the screen. Yeah, you can that's pretty leave amazing. Notes for fr- your family, or you can you can oh, watch TV cool. on it. You can yeah. play Spotify on the thing, and so. it knows when you're wow. out of milk too, which right. is crazy to me. But yeah. huh. so you guys don't just do those two items, but that's why we're here to pitch those. You do have a really interesting. We could probably talk about the other business forever, but uh, they also sell uh, Lego sets online, right? Yeah, like oh, toys, wow. video games, electronics. On this eBay is where they Amazon. started. That's that's where we start. We've been yeah. doing that for 18 years. Yeah. Um, and then uh, I have the patent for a part for CNC machines. Mm-hmm. That's not a mainstream item. <laughs> no. It's a very niche <laughs> thing. But uh, so that, so we manufacture and sell those as well. So, so it's not just mattresses, we right? We are constantly busy. Yeah. All sorts of things. The man of many hats, I guess. And you guys do it very well because it's, it's hard for anybody to have a husband and wife duo that still gets along every day that still loves each other every day and haven't murdered and still are very cool (laughs) chill people right most people i know that own more than one business their hair is always on fire you know but you guys do it very well maybe that's what happened maybe that's what it is but uh but see how how quickly it goes by that's 45 minutes right there so but uh if you're looking for a mattress if you're looking for appliances this is your guy sean cranford mattress by appointment but not only just mattresses now that's gonna be hard to put on the wall in or 417 outlets the the appliance there we go 417 Um, and again it's 417-425-9862 for either one can they look it up online yeah I like your inventory page, and stuff? I, um, no, not inventory because okay. it changes so sure. quick. Uh, I would have a full-time website. But guy, you could at least but, show what you have and yeah, all that. And we okay. have payment plan options. Yeah. No credit needed for those. Um, I have even all all the way up to like two year no interest uh, through Tower Loan here in town. Dang. Nice. Yeah. Yep. Two years no interest. Yeah. Not, guys? not six, but you're also not spending 10 grand with me that you need right. six years to pay right. off. So. And two years, I think, is plenty. It for is. a mattress and yeah. all that kind of stuff. But uh, but that's important that you've got quality materials, too. I mean, what yeah. brands are you selling over here? I have Sealy, Serta. I've got several other brands. Um, Beautyrest. Mm-hmm. Um, Can we talk so. about the camper bed? Do you like that? Or is that something you don't want to talk about? I, I can order yeah. mattresses for campers. Dude, they're not cheap, but they're saved good. Saved my life though. Yeah. So we bought our camper, first camper we bought a few years ago. I didn't realize. I thought that the ones I'd seen when I've been in campers that are nice that they had nice beds in them. I'm like, I didn't even think about a bed, right? So you get a camper and the mattress is that thick. It's a four inch piece of foam basically yep. with a really bad coating over the outside of it. Even yeah. a quarter million dollar diesel push that comes with those <laughs> junk mattresses. That's terrible. Still don't get it. So I called Sean. I'm like, I don't know anybody that sells mattresses. So I'm calling Sean and then he's like, you know, those are odd size, right? And I was like, no, Short no, clean. no, 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 don't call me. So I, I go out there and I measure it and I was like, damn it, he's right. So what do I do? And he's like, you're gonna have to order one. I'm like, so can I do that with you? He's like, yeah, I'll just have Sealy make it and they'll make it and they'll drop ship it to you. And I was yep. like, no nice. way, dude. So I'm not going to tell you how much it costs, but it was actually way more cost effective than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be way outrageous. Uh, but for the money, he was able to get me a super nice mattress. It was all memory foam. So they just roll it up into a box basically shipped it to the house i just took it out of the box laid it out cut everything open and watched it just unfurl yeah, yeah. It was they the literally manufacture ever. those wrap them up and you have them within like three days dude it was fast too yeah. i think four days That's is what impressive. i had it and yeah. it was like we were going on a trip too so i needed it like the next day right and i got it within four days so that just tells you a little bit about how he operates too not to say that that's an easy niche to be in but i've handed your name out to a lot of people that own campers yeah and if you go to the rv store
or they're oh, crazy they're expensive <laughs> and they're the same thing that came with it. Oh, so. and they'll double it at least on yeah. the price. Too, and I, so. I mean, I can even order hybrids, all foam, whatever for that. So. You know, the one we got was, uh, it was, a, I think it was what, a 14 inch thick memory foam with a top on it as well. And I, it was heavy as I'll get out in the box. Oh, I yeah. know that. So I was like, this thing's got to be quality. And then once I got it out of the box, it was, you know, vacuum sealed. So it was very small. And it was like, uh, I don't know what I got <laughs> here. And it was like this thick. And then yeah. all of a sudden, I popped that thing open and watched it just rise. And it kept on coming up yeah. for like an hour probably. Uh, but best investment I've ever made uh, for my back and a camper. Now when I sleep, I sleep really well when I'm camping. Yeah. So thank you so much. But uh, again, thank you for being a sponsor on the Absolutely. show. We really appreciate it. You're going to see his name. Uh, we're going to do some other cool stuff that you don't know about yet. But otherwise, um, thanks for being a fan of the show. Thanks for sponsoring yeah. it. Thanks for being a friend. And uh, look forward to seeing your house in 417 Magazine. Um, and uh, everybody else, keep exploring the Ozarks. Thanks again for listening to Exploring the Ozarks. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our social media channels to help us keep exploring the stories of the Ozarks. If you're looking for more ways to support our show, we have sponsorships for businesses and Patreon for individual supporters. Check the links in the description for more details. Thanks for your support, and keep exploring the Ozarks.